And the second man is Brendan Bean. You now Brendan's booked the Barstow by when he's coming home from the Barstow. And the ship is coming into Dublin. And he sees the mountains, the two rock, the three rock, the pure. You have a beautiful view of the Dublin mountains from the corner of Bride Street at Patrick's Cathedral. And then Brendan went on to see the churches, the spires, St. Barnabas, Lightens O'Toole and Rathmines. That's how Brendan died a few paces away from where Clarence Spangen died in the Mead Hospital. Well, Brendan Bean had the Dublin wit to the very end. When he was dying up in the Mead Hospital, there's a story told that a nun went in to visit him. And she was looking at him in the bed and she said, Brendan, I'm praying for you. So he looked up at her and he said, thank you very much, Reverend Mother. May your son be a bishop. Holly plays on the flute, he belongs to the Longford Street Band. Twould do your heart good for to see him march out when the band goes to Dolly Mount Strand. In the park on the Sunday, I quite couldn't dash all the neighbours look on in surprise. At the Grand Paisley Shawl and my bonnet so tall, twould dazzle the sight of your eyes. You may travel from Clare to the county Kildare, from Drada right back to McCruan. But where would you see a fine widow like me? Biddy Mulligan, the pride of the camp. Me boys, Biddy Mulligan, the pride of the camp.